morning, everyone. We had more heavy rain overnight. Oh, joy. It's quite soggy out here, but I do think it's done raining for a couple days. Good morning, Stripe. So, looks like a kitty cat likes chicken broth, too. Yeah, he was sniffing it. I, they said, didn't say I could have coffee this morning or tea, so yeah. I'm drinking broth. They I would normally... That, yeah. yeah, that was on the allowed list. I thought coffee and tea was a clear liquid, but what do I know? Yeah, well, I guess if they wanted to deal with tea, they'd let me have coffee. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh. Hi, Tux. And it's been days and days with no Lego deliveries. I'm waiting. Not a thing. I haven't finished the Christmas clock tower. I haven't gotten further on the mineral shop. And it's not been because I haven't wanted to work on it. Right. So I'm pretty frustrated. Yeah, I hear you, sweetie. I'm sorry. Don informed me that he is going to fast today. Yes. It's not so much a Misery Loves Company. It's a post-Christmas, post-New Year's necessity. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> To keep his uh, boyish figure. Yeah, keep my boyish figure, yeah. When we're not watching Tesla YouTubes, one of the people we watch is Dr. Jason Fung. Yeah. And he is a nephrologist, a kidney doctor. Yeah. And he promotes, let's say, windows of non-eating, but really he promotes fasting. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, um, 18, 24, where you only eat during a six-hour window. Yeah, so you have lunch and, yeah. time, lunch and dinner, but not breakfast. Yeah, uh, maybe only dinner, which is sort of more what we do, although our window is a little bit oh, bigger, a little yeah. bit bigger than what might be optimal. And then occasionally, not often, but occasionally a, a 24, 48 hour right. fast. So Don, Don said he's not eating tonight and he might not eat tomorrow either. We'll yeah, see. Right. We do We're shooting for at least 24. He wants a blood sugar and a insulin reset or yeah. you know yeah so yeah, well, thank fun. you donnie i yeah. won't actually i'll get to eat i'll get to drink some calories today i'll get yeah, to I'm, quote unquote eat more than you yeah i'm gonna stay away i'm just gonna have my coffee tux is like i don't care that the deck is wet mom i think i'll just lay right so here. there is some interesting news circulating through the triangle tesla owners in our facebook groups uh in our slack group uh, there was a job listing out uh, on Tesla's careers website for a manufacturing project engineer for cell production, may maybe, had to do with battery stuff. Um, that started a lot of speculation. I think um, Tasmanian over here did a good job of, uh, in their article, of talking about um, what that might mean. Um, the Torque News guy up on YouTube, he's got a video, and there are some some other people that have talked about it too. Um, they think it means production line, uh, big deal stuff. I, some people hinted it might be recycling. Some people hinted they just might be trying to get some talent from the Raleigh Research Triangle area to move to Texas, say, to the Gigafactory out there or something. I guess we really don't know, but as of this morning, the job listing, to the best of my understanding, is 404 not found, it's gone. So a lot of people had reported on that, but what I wanted to show is that um, I had never looked at this before. Tesla has a really extensive online job posting careers um, section of their website at tesla.com. So tesla.com slash careers. And you can put in your whatever location you want to look at. There's a lot of jobs out there. So I'll, while you could just scroll through everything, um, I think um, you at least want to probably restrict to your country, maybe to your state, um, maybe to your um, continent, something like that. Uh, so I had put in, let's look at all the jobs in North Carolina, which uh, no surprise there, that left uh, quite a few jobs near the two um, service and sales centers here in the um, Raleigh and Charlotte area, okay? 
Um, it turned up quite a few. Uh, I don't know what's that about 40 jobs. I didn't add them up and there's no number here without can counting manually, but they are, like I said, spread between Raleigh and the Charlotte Matthews area. However, they have categories for them and most of them are um, on the energy side. Uh, has energy installation, energy installation, facilities, there's stuff in here, site surveying would be probably, you know, solar stuff, um, inspection coordinator, you're in, uh, coordinating inspections for the solar job. So it seemed more heavily lean toward the energy side versus hiring more folks to sell cars and service um, cars. But, um, you know, I think Tesla is an up and coming place to go to work. And I certainly think um, young people out of college should consider a career with Tesla, kind of like I considered a career with IBM when I got out of college. And um, it never hurts to be to be checking out the kinds of jobs that um, businesses are, like Tesla are hiring for, the kind of people that they want. Um, as I've told Johnny and uh, the kids in uh, Lego Robotics at the school, you know, deciding what career you want to pick is more than just, oh, I'd like to do this. It's also how much money will that career pay? Is that going to be a level of um, ex living uh, that you're going to be happy with? Um, is the job that you want to train for a job that a business is actually going to hire you for? I mean, there's a lot to think about there besides, oh, that would just be cool. To, I think I want to do that for my life, right? So um, maybe go check out tesla.com slash careers and um, see what kind of jobs are available in your area. And I guess we'll keep an ear out for any additional news about any stuff happening in Raleigh. I personally think with um, 540, the Turnpike, and especially the Research Triangle Park, um, I would certainly like to see Tesla have some sort of a presence here beyond just selling cars. Um, Elon's already moved halfway across the country. Um, let's put a facility somewhere on the East Coast. And I think with the weather, uh, the land availability, and the talent at Research Triangle Park, that Raleigh would make uh, a great location for that. Packing out of the garage just now, I did use the side camera to help me make sure Tux didn't move. It did a good job, the camera, and he didn't. So good. Of course, now I can see him see him, but, you know, it was helpful, the extra side camera. I still want one in the front I can see. I'm sitting here trying to beat Cliff. He's the only team leader I haven't beaten. I found now that I'm level 42 that it's easier than it was in the past, plus I'm using the counter guides of which Pokemon to battle him. But um, Don ought to be by on his run here in a minute. <laughs> Hopefully I won't be right in the middle of a battle. I was able to defeat uh, Cliff. I am really excited. I I thought I'd never be able to beat the team leaders. Um, I had so much trouble when I tried when they first came out, but um, either they've made it easier, or I've gotten better, or my Pokemon have gotten better, or the cheat notes, they're not really a cheat, but the suggested counters uh, are better. I don't know, but I defeated him. There he is. Hey, Donnie, looking, hey, <laughs> looking good, looking good. I did a raid over here at the library and I watched two cars come out of that parking area and hit pretty hard the underside of the front of their car. Glad it wasn't me. I auto raised by location over here. Okay. Okay, have, wise guy. Have you started? Alexa wants you to start. <laughs> Somebody said a reminder to remind me as if I was going to forget. Johnny has BattleBots on the brain. He's using stud.io or studio yeah, to true. design. And then he's also building in real life. I was super stoked. Unfortunately, at this point, I'm kind of bottlenecked by stud.io because I need to do some things and it doesn't like what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. I told him... I'm happy that he learned to use the tool and can see the usefulness of the tool, but I'm not hung up on tool first, then build, or build first, then tool, or... Well, I just wanted, I wanted to use the tool because it, then it kind of helps me know what I'm doing, yep. and, uh, and I can do it without 
getting frustrated building the real stuff. Well, and you could share it at some point with somebody else. So that's, you know, the beauty of it too. I'm going to go to bet to say that I can see where the regular building bricks would work really good in that tool. But, you know, some of these specialized power functions, motors and yeah. stuff, I can see why that might... Because some stuff fits together better in real life than it does in the tool. Yeah. That's just, that's, but that's, that's a minor issue. It's not, well, it'll be more of an issue when I'm trying to sign the blade for it. Right. He's trying to get the base built, the foundation, a solid foundation before he builds the killer tool. It's kind of going to be like, um, Bloodsport and BattleBots, if anyone watches that show. Yeah, I think we got some viewers that are interested in BattleBots. Oh. You hear it? Okay. All right. So, this is a very early weapon prototype testing. Very, very early. It's not going to really do much. And I'm being careful because the motors aren't, um, don't have anything that would prevent them from breaking on it. Spinning off. Well, yes. I think it's way cool. 